So I keep getting DMs telling me that the Island Boys scammed a 13-year-old jit for $120, and I don't even know where to start. The kid who sent $120 to Fly Soldier for promo, he actually paid me for promo before. And don't worry, I delivered. I gave him a shout out in a video called Imposters. This kid only gave me 20 bucks. He said that's all he had. And I guess that's cap because he gave Fly Soldier $120. Either I'm getting too little or he's getting too much. This kid, he's gonna tell his mom. Then his mom is gonna call Fly Soldier's mom. Fly Soldier, he's gonna get grounded for a week. No Xbox, no perks, no eyeliner. It's over for him. And what type of jack? ass scams a 13 year old how badly do you need that money i know these guys are going through tough times but i didn't think they'd sink this low they're like a year away from collecting refry cigarettes y'all might be questioning the morality of a 13 year old buying promo from grown men and ooh wee, there's definitely grown men selling bammer to 8th graders. I'd rather have my kids buy Instagram promo. Just make sure you're buying from someone who is actually going to deliver. Now when I was a teenager, we'd spend our money on even stupider stuff like gems for Clash of Clans, Call of Duty skins. At least we didn't buy bitcoins. That would have been a complete waste of money. Now I'm not judging this kid because social media has always been a popularity contest. In 2003, MySpace allowed non-talented weirdos feel like they're famous because they have validation from strangers. And Instagram and TikTok are just continuing the trend for the new generation. It's a good thing they didn't have blue checks when I was in school because I'm positive everybody would be spending in that $15 to get that validation. Now that you mention it, Instagram has no issue collecting money from teenagers who are trying to get these blue checks. They're capitalizing off people who are desperate for validation. And at the end of the day, the only person allowed to complain is the person who spent the money. And I'm not going to write a bad review for a restaurant I've never been to. If I do give you money and I feel like I didn't get my money's worth, then I'm going to complain. This kid allegedly sent $120 to Fly Soldier, and even though it wasn't my money that was lost, it's important for people to know that this guy does bad business. This screenshot says pending, which is a little sus, but this kid provided screenshots showing that he actually did send the money. Now Fly needs to address this situation. He needs to give this kid his promo. And Fly Soldier does have a history of scamming people. Take Meticulous, for example. Meticulous paid Fly Soldier, I think, $100 for a feature. This was like two years ago. Fly Soldier had attempted to pocket the money. He had no plan to deliver the verse. Fly eventually eventually did do it because Meticulous was making a big deal out of it. He was letting people know that Fly does bad business and eventually Green Hat confronted Fly and that's when he finally delivered the verse. Is Fly Soldier the type of dude to rip you off, to promise something and never deliver? Hell yeah. When it comes to Fly Soldier's credibility, I wouldn't give him a dollar expecting four quarters back. Fly Soldier is a wannabe gangster. Even though he's from the suburb, he tries to be bad. He thinks it's like a cool thing to scam people. And hopefully he gets his karma. I'm out.